in this morning's Commitment 2020 coverage, we asked the Democratic candidates for governor how they think the state should be dealing with COVID-19. This is actually an issue that I've spoken with the governor about. Uh, the state should have in place a mask or a face covering order uh, that requires the wearing of facial coverings uh, indoors or in crowds. Uh, I think it was a big mistake to allow the uh, NASCAR race this weekend. I think the governor was incredibly misleading in his tweets about what happened there. Uh, he said that everyone was masked up and socially distant. And then I looked at my newspaper this morning and there's full of photos not of people not wearing masks elbow to elbow waiting in line for different parts of the race um, so that's number one number two the governor totally abdicated his responsibility uh, in school reopening he should have issued a plan instead he listened to betsy devos and punted and now we're all at risk because of that First and foremost, there needs to be a school reopening plan with public health standards and real support, financial support for our teachers, for our parents, for our students, and for our schools on the ground. Uh, Governor Christianini threw up his hands and said it's completely up to local school districts, not even any public health standards, not any public health support. Uh, I'm of that fundamental belief that we are all in this together. And to say to our teachers and our students and to our families, and I I'm a, come from a working class family, uh, my wife, Erin, our two daughters, Iris and Josie, uh, you know, look, uh, this is something that needs leadership, not punting it away, punching it down to the local level. We need to look out for working families. And what Governor Christianino did is create uh, and create uh, chaos, basically, at the local level. And we put forward our own school reopening plan, live free and learn safe. You can go online to take a look at it.